Hello everyone and welcome to Games with Dialogue. I'm Dialogue and we're playing Reseteer. Reseteer? I don't know. The in-game running gag is that the item shop name sounds like Racketeer. So, there you go. This game is a real blast from the past. 2007. Nearly a decade ago. Does it still hold up? I think so. I mean, I haven't touched it since 2009, but I enjoyed it. So, let's... It's only 10 bucks. Is it 10 or 20? On Steam. I think it's only 10 bucks on Steam. I could be wrong. I will have to verify. In the description below the video. But... Let's just dive in. I mean, I, I've rambled enough. Let's dive in. Oh, for the love of. She's still asleep. Does she really not understand how important today is? Can't eat another bite. But I can always find room for yummy candy. Wake up, please. Well, who, uh, when is... Oh, dear. Good, good morning. We do not have time for good morning, Rossetti. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Um, we did? Oh yeah, we did! Evolve Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Hey, I'll be right down. I need to go more airhead with Rossetti, I think. Hey, good... <laughs> I say that as soon as I... Hey! Sorry I kept you waiting! Okay, Tear, let's open the shop right now! Capitalism! Ho! Patience, Rossetti. It is a virtue you will need. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Huh? Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Um... Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. So, where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that should probably be our first stop. Ooh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants. So if we stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grog or give our polite regards to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it. Let's go right now. When you want to leave, oh wait, this is directed at me. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door, currently located in the upper right-hand corner of the store. Ah, but I want to leave through the window like an action hero to eternity and no, Rossetti. Okay. Um, well, there's the market. Richard's Guild. Hello! Hmm? A girl and a fairy? You two are... Yes, you're a seti and that loan shark! While that is not... Well, an incorrect assessment, could I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark? That's right, mister! She and I are partners! Don't be mean! <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. So, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. Oh, wait, that's Tyr. 
quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stop by in order to show our gratitude for your help. Ah, very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness, thank you. Um, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up to the counter then. Let's get you two sorted. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than ten items. Heyo! Okay! Before you stock up... Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't even push a button. Uh, so talk will just go through what... Eh, eh, some of some of these things that I don't need to know right now. Except for maybe what is the guild and what can I do here. Uh, about merchant levels is also not important, so we'll just buy some stuff and move on. Now, I've got a thousand picks. What do I want to specialize in? All of this stuff is so expensive. You know, I could just buy a bunch of clothes for 70... Ah, uh, yeah, but if I, hmm, wool hat, wooden helm, souvenir charm, um, all right, let's buy the clothes, uh, how do I do multiples? Nope, that's cancel. Ah, here we are. What about... That's not it. What do wait? Items, encyclopedia, options. Is there a control? There is not. Alright. Well, then I'm going in blind on controls. Is there a way to buy multiples? Or do I gotta buy them one at a time? Oh, just push up and down. Okay. Um, where? There it is. So, if I want all five... Let's buy three. Hmm... Alright, that's five items. Hmm. Wool hat? We could probably get two wool hats. No. I did- I mathed wrong. Forgive me. We can buy two swords, though. Do I want swords? Is that the cheapest? No, gloves. Okay. There we go. Alright, that should be ten items. All right, thank you. Right then, will that be all? <laughs> yep, this is perfect. We shall return when our stocks run low again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Here, a little something extra. As a startup gift. <laughs> Yay, walnut bread! Thanks a bunch! Is that for sailing or for eating? All right, little lady. Give them your all. Capitalism ho! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Alright. Um, so I guess it's just back and set up shop for the first time. Very well. It is time to give you a crash course in the basics for running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them, after all. So I just need to get near these counters? Just so. Once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. I guess that's the confirm button. Primary button? You will understand when you try it. Trust me. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Oh. Right. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we purchased on one of the counters? Hi. Okay. Can I? There we go. All right. You know what? Just window shopping. We'll put a leather glove. Rossetti, may I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window. 
items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of thing that you think, I want to buy this more than anything, on those counters is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. I know, that's why I put that there. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. I know, that's why I put that there. So choose what to place there very, very carefully. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Okay, I'll be careful. Um, but we're primarily a clothing store. Let's see. Put the wooden armband there and the scrap plate. And then we'll do the same over here. Scrap plate. Clothes. Wooden armband. Glove. And then we'll just put the rest of our items on display. Do I want to sell this? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Okay. All right. That should do for displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I... Do not worry. Everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. Oh. right -o. Just like this? Okay. Oh, alright. Expertly done. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask me anytime we are in the shop. I don't think I'll need to, though. But, okay. And that is, essentially, how it goes. You are quite good for someone who has never done this before. <laughs> really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so we... So let us go ahead and open the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the same way that we just practiced. Whoa, are you sure it'll be okay? Don't worry. As the saying goes, Salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the counter. Okay, day! Hi there! This is nice! Hmm, it only sells for 100, huh? Well, that's 110%, so... A bit expensive, isn't it? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. How about that? 10% markup. Yes, that will be fine. And we earned some experience in our merchant level. I sold walnut bread! <laughs> yes, you did. Hmm. Congratulations, you did well. I sold stuff. I, me, Rossetti, I sold stuff. Like, to people. Hey, Tear? I... I'm so happy! I did it! I did it! Well, I'm kind of wondering, but I already know. Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tear and I first met. I'm actually going to skip past this, because it's not part of the gameplay, it's just background. But if you're interested, I encourage you to get this game and see for yourself. Alright, here we are. Day two. So, I have an item shop, and stuff! And it's all cool and awesome! So, uh, what do I do now? That's up to your judgment. If you sit at the counter, we can open immediately. Or... We can reorganize the shop. Or we could even go search for new stock. Around town. Or elsewhere. Yikes, that's a ton of options. How do I choose? It is as I said earlier. Running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. 
Simply pick something. We will deal with what comes. Well, okay. Hmm, let's sell again. We could earn some cash. Oh yes, but definitely I will sell you clothes. Uh, 25%. Oh. No, it's really not that expensive. I just want your money. How about 16? Yeah. I made a little bit of money there. Clothes are definitely not something to rely on. Especially when only one customer? Are you kidding? Oh. Alright, well, what does the rest... Oh, the Adventurer's Guild is flashing. Say, what's this place? This is the Adventurer's Guild. The guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness areas or abandoned ruins near the city. The area is commonly referred to as dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Ah, oh, nuts. But we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see? If we could do that, we could sell everything we get at 100% profit. It is still a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, we must first hire an adventurer. Hire? Can I just pick anybody? The truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Ooh, so they turn away people they don't know very well. Indeed. You should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. Kind of like a... Kind of like a, a reputation bond, if you will. If all goes well, they will give you a symbol of their guild membership. This usually takes the form of a card. With that in hand, we can bring an adventurer with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party! Well... Dinner parties usually do not include blood-mad beasts attempting to rip you limb from limb. But the analogy does work. Somewhat. Right. So, first, I need to meet an adventurer. Hmm. Which, for us, should not be that difficult, yes? After all, we run an item shop. But we should get a few coming in as clients on a fairly regular basis. Oh, yeah! Well then, I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. Indeed. Just be careful that Rossetti is not on the menu. Huh? Something wrong. Well, that guy over there. He's really cute. Listen to me! If I can't get work, I can't get the money. And if I can't get the money, I can't get the items. And if I can't get the items, apparently, I can't work. Arrgh. Heaven, if I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. Ooh, what's going on? He seems to be a rookie adventurer, complaining about his inability to complete the required guild test. Test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. You can only work officially for the guild after passing a test. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with challenges. Hmm. I have an idea. What? I do believe we have found our first adventurer. Son of a... I burned what cash I had just getting to the city. If I can't get into the guild, I don't know what I'll even do for dinner money. Now I'm hungry. Great. Pardon me a moment. You there. Adventurer with the seedy look. Who are you calling seedy? Uh, oh, uh, uh, well... You two would be... We are a pair of merchants who happened to be passing by. Merchants? Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and seedy, apparently, to buy anything. Believe me, I could tell by your seedy nature that attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Come on, Tyr, stop with the seedy already. He isn't a plant. 
So, are you two going to prune me or what? Here. Would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide them. I'd call you a pair of angels, but then why? Business, naturally. We help you, you help us. Oh, I get it! We help Mr. Swordsman clear the dungeon, and then he gives us his card! A sign of our eternal friendship! Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I see. You guys are pretty new at all of this too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordsman. Yes or no? Yes. All right then. Heck, I got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yes, Yay, vacations! Glad to meet you two. Uh, I'm Rossetti. Nice to meet you. I'm Tyr. Ah. Call me Louie. Louie the Swordsman. Good to meet you. <laughs> I could, I could give him a little Boston. Uh, no, I'm already set here. I'm already set. Yes, yes. Now then, we will begin all of the preparations for a dungeon visit, including a visit to the Central Market to pick up food and other restorative items. We will then return here for you when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. All right, well, let's go to Market then and get some stuff for him. For us. Hmm. Maybe. Well, let's see. Uh, maybe the cheap stuff. Yeah. Definitely the cheap stuff. What about the Merchant's Guild? Can I buy anything that he, he, he's a swordsman, right? Can't afford that. Ow! Anything? Maybe some. Uh. Nope. Nope. That. Um. Well, I mean, it's the first. It's the first character in the game, right? They're not just gonna. Uh, oh, all right. He's got gear. All right. Uh, yeah. Louis. And we'll pick some walnut bread. Hopefully, that's healing items. Who knows? All right. So our first dungeon. So this is the dungeon. Just so. Welcome to the jungle, as they say. You know, aren't we just going to hold Louie back here? I mean, I'm not a monster slayer. I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There is a protective field around the two of us. To the monsters, we may as well be invisible. Really? That's amazing. So Louie's Lucy, perfectly safe too? Uh... No. Why not? While in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters, but this is only accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything. We can directly manipulate nothing. Wait, we can't collect items? Why are we here? That's why our adventurer remains outside the field. Oh, I see. He'll pick stuff up for us. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. Since we must carry him back, however, we can take very little else with us. One item, at most. So, even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything? Oh, wait, I thought you said we can't... Yes, I will elaborate further if need be later. Naturally, if we get out safely, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Cool. Wait, as much as our bags allow us to carry? Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventurer focuses on adventure, while we keep track of what loot he should keep. I guess that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> O'Day, let's get to it! Equipped items in bag, yeah. Why not? All right, so what do we got? What do we actually got? Uh, his equipment and walnut bread. What is? Hmm. All right. Can I? Can I block? Can I do? All right, that's attack. All right, that's it, I guess. 
That looks like the way out. Rusty dagger. Are you kidding me? Whoops. Rusty dagger? It doesn't actually... Well, it's a free item I can sell later, but... Ooh -hoo -hoo. I have a special attack. Nice. Ingredient? Aw, oh, come on. Eat. Wow. Ooh, and I leveled up. Oh, I see. The 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 red bar around the portrait is the experience bar, and the level two is in the bottom left corner by the portrait. Fantastic. What is slime fluid? Is this the body of a slime or the blood that holds it together? For that matter, who can tell, really? Okay. Oh, the gems are not money. The gems are experience. Okay. Well, that's lame. Well, not lame, but that's disappointing. I was hoping I was earning cash while going through the dungeon. I guess uh, that would defeat the purpose of owning an item shop if I was just dungeon run in the first place, right? We collect the items to sell. For them. And our adventurer has to level up. Another old muffler. Come on. <laughs> I'm getting some crap items. It is the first dungeon, though. Anything right now is better than spending money to buy items to sell. What are those... What are those red dots up here? Did enemies respawn? They'd respawn. Great. So if I wanted to... I could grind. I don't really feel like... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! I really don't feel like grinding. But it is nice that they respawn. If I decide... I want to. Grind. Uh, nah, I gotta go all the way back for that. Ah, yes. I wouldn't really complain to a better weapon. Level four, floor one. Ay, ay, ay. All right, next floor. Another, another blank. Whoa, whoa, ah. Oh. Okay. How fast can I attack here? Yeah, alright. Don't mind me, just using my special move. Whoa! That sucks. Got him. Not that it matters. But... Whoa! Oh, and I used my special move already. That's all right. They ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Oh, there's another hallway over here. Get him into a stun lock and just wail on him. Ah! Who puts a rock trap at the end of a dead end? Oh. I wasn't really paying attention. That's that's on me. Uh, let's see if that healing item works. Nine hit points. Oh, okay. And then I immediately... And an apple. Alright, well... I used the recovery item and I get one back. I'm not gonna complain. Please be a weapon. No. It's an armband. Great. An armband. Uh, 
Um, is that armband better than what I'm using? Uh, equipment. Let's see. I can't use it. Okay. Maybe I can't use it because I need to replace... Old muffler? No. What about wooden shield? Yeah. Defense goes down. Magic defense goes up. I don't think I need magic defense. So. We'll just leave it. There's our exit. One more. One more. Come on. There we go. All right. We're out of here. Next floor. Yes. How do I fill up my special move? Only when I level up, it looks like. It only levels up when I... It only refills when I level up. Alright, so it's a... It's definitely a use sparingly. Ooh. Are you a goat man? No, it looks like a doggy with a viking helmet on. Breastplate. Ooh, that's got to be better than leather armor, right? No, it's not. Defense goes down. Shoot. All right. Well, all right. Pick that up. Thank you. You sell it in the shop. I need a better weapon. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep exploring. There's really no harm. Got him. And those crits got a little. Am I running out of room? 16 out of 20. I got room for... Oh, no. I wasted that. I got room for one more. Or four more items. We're on floor four. Alright. I don't think I can leave yet. That's a shame. That's alright. Oh, you... Oh, you... <laughs> that, was... that was terrible. Good thing it's a low level... Still. Alright. Nothing in. What the? Let's go left. No, oh, no, all right. That's the way out. Let's go down. Got him. Oh, please be a weapon. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. Wool hat. Is that better? Got to be better than this, right? Yes. Defense goes up by 30. Yes, that's better. Okay. As soon as I walk, I get rid of those two. Egg toast. I'm holding on to that. It's a plus four. Who knows how awesome it is? Use my walnut bread before I touch that egg toast plus four. Maybe it sells for a lot of money, too. And... Is this it? No, we got two more rooms. Okay. Did he hit me with some kind of poison? No. Alright. For whatever reason, it was just a... It was just a graphical thing. Fantastic. Did throw rocks at me? 
Ooh. Oh no! Can't carry anymore. Well, if I was gonna get rid of anything, it'd be this stupid muffler. Only sells for 50? Yeah. Longsword plus one, yes, please. Ooh, yes. All right. If there's a boss somewhere in this dungeon, he's about to get wrecked. Oh, well, as soon as I say it. This is... Did I do it? I did, didn't I? Yeah, that's it. I did it! <clears throat> I did it! I've cleared the Hall of Trials! Oh, sweet mystery of life! Now you'll give me money! Way to go, Louie! Rossetti, Tear, this is all thanks to you guys. This is all well and good, but there is still treasure chest ahead. It behooves us to investigate thoroughly. Tear, you really like going for the money, don't you? What? I do not spout such foolishness. There is no need to treat me like a living flying ball of gr... There's no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed. Hey, hey, now. I love me some treasure, too. Don't worry, Tear. I feel you on this. Really, you two completely misunderstand me. Well, let's open it. So, the contents of the chest? Give me just a second here. Hey! Wow! Trading cards! So, this is an Adventurer's Guild card. Here, Rossetti, take one, like we promised. Huh? Oh yeah, okay. While you did promise to give us your card eventually, we're not so crass as to demand your very first one. You really should think about who you want to give your first... No, no, I want this. Rossetti, I beg you, please. Take my very first card. I'd love to. Thanks, Louie. Uh, yeah. Awesome. I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Really now, young people. Yeah. Hey, Tear, what's this thing that just showed up? Ah, uh, yes, that. That is commonly referred to as a go -hook. My a door of return, I mean. If you enter that door, you can return to town in an instant. This one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon, but they are often encountered during normal exploration as well. I believe they usually appear roughly every five levels or so. Nemo. But wait, if we take this back to town when we're halfway in, don't we have to start all the way at the beginning again? Not at all. You can always head back to the floor that had a door on it. In fact, if you do not use a door, you do have to restart. So if we find a door, we should always use it? Almost always. If you need to rest or unload, then we should use the door. Remember though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving ends the current contract with our companion, and we would have to rehire him or choose a new one. If there is something specific in a dungeon that you desire, you can simply ignore the doors and press onward. Alrighty then. I think we have to go home now, though. Quite so. Just to be sure, in the future. Please, try to avoid referring to this as going home. Yes? Okay? Return to town. Congratulations! Your first dungeon is clear. What? What? I want to keep this stuff. Rearrange.
Am I? Oh, oh. He must be. I'm giving him back. He's giving me back something that we're actually we're too full. All right. Well, let's get rid of, rid of one of these slime fluids. I don't know what they are, and I don't know if they'll do us any good. Tomorrow will be a new day. Profit negative eight hundred and eighty-four. <sighs> okay. Rossetti, may I have a moment, please? Sure, what's up? Concerning the debt. I have a suggestion concerning its repayment. You do? Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means. So I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Wholly beyond... Uh, you know, you never told me what Big Papa's debt is, exactly. <laughs> you never told me how big Papa's debt is. That is because you would faint if you found out. For now, I will keep it a secret. I faint? As the store begins to build up steam, we'll increase payment size. The repayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Please be sure to check it regularly. Hey, yay, I'll keep an eye on it. Is that it? All right, well, that's a good stopping spot for our first episode. Uh, if you would like to see me continue, and I do want to continue because I love this game, please let me know, either in the comments below, or you can reach me on Twitter or my email address, which is in the description below the video. So until next video, next episode, or next video, when I see you again, take care, stay safe, and God bless.